other charities to be run by the same moral code, not serve as conduit for personal enrichment, not become a beacon of corruption and scandal. <laughs> to whom much is given, much will be required. This is the very belief that compelled my father to make this great sacrifice, to run for the most powerful yet unforgiving office in the world. There is no greater calling. There is no more selfless an act. To the unemployed voter sitting at home watching me right now, wondering how you're going to make your next mortgage payment or rent payment, my father is running for you. tuning into the speech from his or her hospital who has been ignored and disrespected by an ungrateful system for far too long my father is running for you <laughs> to the school teacher forced to walk through metal detectors each and every day into an underfunded school my father is running for you <laughs> to the laborer watching me right now, forced out of a job by undocumented workers, illegal immigrants, my father is running for you. <laughs> to the oil and gas industry worker, denied a job because of radical regulations from a radical EPA, my father is running for you. <laughs> to single mothers, to families with special needs children, to middle-class families who can no longer afford medical benefits sufficient to cover their everyday needs, my father is running for you. This November, I ask you to be true to yourself and vote for the candidate who you know is running for the right reasons. Vote for the candidate who has never been a politician. Vote for the candidate who has never received a paycheck from our government. candidate who can't be bought, sold, purchased, bribed, coerced, intimidated, or steered from the path that is right and just and true. And quite frankly, friends, vote for the one candidate who does not need this job. have I been more proud to be a Trump. Never have I been more proud to be my father's son. I am incredibly honored to be part of this journey of which he's invited me, Don, Ivanka, Tiffany, Melania, my beautiful wife, Laura, our entire family to play such an integral part. Baron. Dad, Baron. you have once again taught us by example. You are my hero. You are my best friend. You are the next president of the United States. <laughs> God bless America.